In this video, I will show you how to correlate the variables in a data frame. First, we will load the Haven, Tidyverse, Core, and Psych packages. And then we'll import the Harry Potter dataset and use the score items function of the Psych package to create mean scores for the big five personality variables for each participant. Next, we'll use the tidyverse to, and the core packages to quickly investigate the correlations between the big five personality variables. I'll start by inserting a new chunk of our code. And as usual, I'll start with data set, and then I'm going to pipe that to the select command so that we have a data set that only consists of the big five personality variable score. So that will be openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. And all I'm going to do is pipe that new data frame to the correlate function of the core package. When I run that, we get a nice little table that outputs all of the uh, correlation values between these five variables. And we can also make it a little bit easier to read by piping that table to the shave function. This shaves off the top diagonal. And it's okay to do this because, of course, the top and bottom halves mirror one another. And we can make things even easier to read by using the fashion command. This creates a nice looking table of the correlations. It uh, shortens or it truncates the correlation values to two decimals. Um, and if you were to preview this, it would have a nice looking uh, table. Our other option, instead of creating a table, is to um, plot the correlations. And we can do that with the rplot command. This plot makes it clear that most of the correlations aren't very strong, as you can see. So most of the correlations are very faintly colored. Only a few of them here can you even see. And that's, again, just a really good visual reminder that even if some of these lighter correlations end up being significant, they aren't very strong. Now, if we want to calculate p-values, we've got to take a different approach. We'll use the psych package to calculate p-values for the correlations. First, we'll create a data frame with just the variables we're interested in. So I'll start with data set, and I'll pipe that to, again, the select command. And I'm going to indicate we only want the five variables related to the big five personality scores. And we're going to save these uh, columns into a new data frame called big5df. And now what we'll do is we'll use the core.test function of the psych package to calculate the p-values. And this function has a number of important parameters that we can customize, and I'll go through each. First, we tell this package um, which data frame we want to correlate or find the p-values for the correlations uh, of. In that case, in this case, that's big 5DF. Another parameter is called y. This is because you can use core.test to calculate the correlations between two individual variables. So we just, in that case, you would say that x is the first variable and y is the second variable, but we're not doing that. We want to get the correlations for all of the variables in this data frame. So we'll just say y equals no. Next, we tell core.test how to handle missing values. In this case, we're telling core.test to use uh, pairwise. Next, we tell core.test 
what method it should use to calculate the correlations. In this case, we'll tell it to use Pearson, although we could also tell it to use Spearman or Kendall, um, depending on what's appropriate for our data. Next, we tell core.test how to adjust for multiple comparisons. In this case, we'll use the home method. Next, we tell core.test what the alpha is for these tests. In this case, we'll just use 0.05. And finally, we tell core.test if we would like it to calculate confidence intervals. And I'll say true. And when we run this chunk, we get two nice looking tables. The first is the correlations, which we've already seen. And the second table is the p-values. When we look at the p-value table, we can see that only a, few of, only a few of them on the bottom row here are significant, perhaps also this one. And that's really it reflects the strength of the correlations from the plot. So the plot was really giving us a really good hint as to which correlations would be significant, or which ones might be uh, really the most strong, what we should be paying attention to.